Now thank you so much ladies and gentlemen and welcome back once again to my YouTube channel. So today being on a Sunday, I just want us to share a word of encouragement from the book of James chapter 1 verse 2 to 26. Basically it talks about trials and temptations. So let us begin this session with a word of prayer. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we are before your throne of mercies this wonderful day with thanksgiving. We want to thank you for the strength. We want to thank you, O oh God, for the gift of life, for everything that you are going to do for us this wonderful day. As we begin our week, may you bless us. May you give us um, our desires, O oh God. May you answer each and every prayer, Almighty God. Please bless my viewers. Bless each and everyone participating in my YouTube channel. Bless their homes. Bless their families, O oh God. Bless their future. For I pray this prayer, believing and trusting in Jesus' name. I pray. Amen. So let us begin with James chapter 1, verse 2 to 26, which says that. Let me just show you on the screen. Consider it pure joy my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. But when you ask, you must believe and no doubt, because the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea, blown and tossed by the winds. That person should not expect to receive anything from the Lord. Such a person is double-minded and unstable in all they do. Verse 9 it says, Believers in humble circumstances ought to take pride in their high position but the rich should take pride in their humiliation since they will pass away like a wildflower for the sun rises with scorching heat and with the, and with us the plant its blossoms falls and its beauty is destroyed in the same way the rich will fade away even while they will go about their business verse 12 it says Blessed is the one who perseveres under trial because, having stood the test, that person will receive the crown of life that the Lord has promised to those who, in, who, love, who love him. When tempted, no one should say, God is tempting me, for God cannot be tempted by evil, nor does he tempt anyone. But each person is tempted when they are dragged away by their own evil desire and enticed. Then, after desire has conceived it, gives birth to sin, and sin, when it is full grown, it gives birth to death. Verse 16 says, Don't be deceived, my dear brothers and sisters. Every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of the heavenly light, who does not change like shifting shadows. He chose to give us birth through the word of truth that we might be a kind of fruit, first fruits of all the created. It talks about listening and doing. My dear brothers and sisters, take note of this. Everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry. Because human anger does not produce the, righteous, the righteousness that God desires. Therefore, get rid of all moral filth and evil that is so prevalent and humbly accepted the word planted in you, which can save you. Do not merely listen to the word and so deceive yourself. Do what it says. Anyone who listens to the word but does not do what it says is like someone who looks at his face in a mirror and after looking himself goes away and immediately forgets that what he looks like. But whatever 
but whoever looks intently into the perfect law that gives freedom and continues in it, not forgetting what they have heard, but doing it, they will be blessed in what they do. Finally, it says, verse 26, those who consider themselves righteous and yet do not keep a tight rein on their tongues deceive themselves and their religion is worthless. Religion that God our Father accepts as pure and faultless is this. To look after orphans and widow in their distress and to keep oneself from being polluted by the world. Now that is the word of God, ladies and gentlemen. As I summarize, what I've understood from our verse today, James chapter 1, verse 2 to 26, first of all, it talks, it talks about trials and temptations. And we should consider pure joy whenever tempted or face trials of many kinds. We should be very joyful. Secondly, what I've understood is all about wisdom that God's provide. The told us very well that we should ask God for wisdom. Anyone who does, who does not have wisdom must uh, seek wisdom from God. And also, whenever you seek wisdom from God, you must believe. Don't doubt about it. Number three, it has talked about perseverance. Blessed is the one who perseveres trials and receive so that uh, trials so that he can receive the crown of life. So whenever we persevere, we are so much blessed and will receive the crown of life. The fourth thing that I've understood about this verse is all about listening and doing. We should be quick to listen. We should be slow to speak. We should be slow to anger. And finally, it talks about religion. Those who consider themselves religious, yet do not keep a tight rein on their tongues, their religion is worthless. That was my word for encouragement to you, ladies and gentlemen. We will be doing this each and every Sunday. We will be having a session, a word of prayer, and just an encouragement for us to grow also in the word of God. Because I'm a strong believer of Christ, I'm born again, and the Lord is my Savior. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. May you have a blessed day. May you have a blessed week ahead. Whatever you do, whatever temptations that you face, may you may this word of God guide you through all of this week. James chapter 1, verse 2 to 26. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for watching. Until next time, my name is Jason. Bye-bye.